guys happy monday welcome back to the vlog I'm sitting here i just ate my food it is 203 spring's kind of bright but you get it i woke up early i ran on my errands i ate my breakfast slash lunch maybe dinner at a five guys burger and some fries and i'll probably have a snack later on which probably would be like a big dessert but i'm ready to vlog now I'll show you guys what I did. Well, I'll tell you guys what I did today. Uh, I went to, where did I start at? I went to Trader Joe's. I went to Home Goods. I went to TJ Maxx. I went to Whole Food, Ulta. Like, uh, I went to places, but I bought things. I'll show you what I bought. I'm always buying things. Not as much as I usually do, but I'd be buying stuff. I want to sit by the space heater because I have the balcony door open so the cats can have some outdoor time, but it's probably going to be annoying to hear. So we're just going to turn this light. I'll turn this light on and sit like over here. If I sit here, will you be able to see me? Yeah. Okay. Let me grab the bag. I had a pretty big bag. I got new baking sheets because mine is horribly ugly and dirty. It's disgusting. And now I have these two new pink ones and they're so cute. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I promise I'm gonna treat these right and try to keep them from getting super filthy like my other ones. I might as well just go ahead and show you this. I went I wasn't even looking for a Hello Kitty blanket, but I got another one and this one's a full queen. I think my other one is like a twin and it was hanging up. So I think it's a slightly different style versus this one is folded and it's a full queen. So yay, it's so cute. And they had so many of them. I went to two different home goods and they both had them. So the first home goods I went to had the full queens and then the second home goods I went to had only the twin size, which I'm like, ugh, I'm so glad I didn't go to that second one first because I probably would have got the twin size, but happier with the bigger blanket. I went to Ulta because I was looking for that vanilla musk oil, but they were out. They only had like Egyptian and amber. So I just got two eyeliners. The eyeliners I usually wear So on Thursday when I went to TJ Maxx, I bought these cute cups. I only bought two of them because I figured two cups was enough. But I went back today and got the other two. Look how cute, they're pink. They have little rabbits on them, but I feel like the rabbit is subtle enough that I can drink out of these just year round. They're so cute. And I can throw out my plain clear cups that I have that just aren't very cute. The only thing is these are not dishwasher safe, so I'll be hand washing them forever, but I have four of these. Very precious, very, very precious. Uh, last two things. I got new espresso cups. Like, let me open this up so I can show you little espresso cups so they are white and they have the little hearts on them and they came with little heart saucer pans so cute now I only got these because I have two white just two plain white espresso cups they have a slight kind of marble effect but these are cuter and I can just make a shot of espresso in these cute little cups to make my lattes so I got two of those I love just buying two cups. Like, I know some people want a set of four. I just want a set of two. And I believe these are dishwasher safe. Yes, these are. So cute. I love TJ Maxx. Like, you can find such cute little treasures in there. Like, I don't know if I'm going to use the little saucers. But the little cups, for sure, I do want. 
So cute. Like I said, I'm trying to be more mindful of my spending, so I'm not just gonna be buying stupid things that don't really have a purpose. These things I feel like have a purpose. Um, what was I about to do? You guys like my sweater? I got this from Forever 21 a while ago, and this is the first time I've gotten to wear it. Look at this guy. Uh, let me move these cups and things before he gets to one because he is the biggest issue in this house. I kind of want to make a my, um, not a coffee, but my chai, but at the same time, it's like, mm, do you really need to? I feel like I could use the caffeine. And it's like a smaller scale caffeine because I feel like when I drink coffee and then I work from home, it's way too much energy and I start to feel like I'm shaking, like it's a horrible feeling, so. But then you can't drink coffee before you, oops, sorry, Ramsey. And if you drink coffee before you go run your errands, you're gonna have to use the bathroom. So it's like, well, I don't wanna risk drinking a coffee before I go run my errands and then I have to go stop somewhere and use the bathroom. Too much thought. Last one, walking this over. I feel like I need to do my nails. I have somewhere to be tomorrow around noon and I feel like I should have fresh nails. And my little pink cups, they look so pretty. I sat around too long and forgot what I was doing, but I'm back. And I think, I think we're just gonna do the swatches for these polishes because I haven't done that yet. I also got another swatch book because this one is, it's like full. So I'm gonna take some of the pages out of this one, put them in this one and just have two books because they would look so cute just sitting on the shelf. And yeah, that. I don't know what Ramsey's seeing, but he looking up at the ceiling around the room like he sees something, like, let me know so we can get out of here. Um, yeah, I take out these ugly little pages. Like I don't need. See, special. I also wanna do a new cover page. I don't know if I'm gonna do that today. I might do that on another day where I, I just have some me time, I can work on my crafts. But I'm probably gonna take, I don't know which ones I wanna take out of this book. It doesn't matter. Let's just start a page on the new book for our colors. <sighs> got my pages and I got my tiles and I feel like I have enough, but I kind of want to order more just in case. You know, like maybe in a couple years, I want to go back and I need more and Amazon doesn't sell them anymore type stuff. Those are the things that get me. Because I still have so many pages left. Like I have this whole set and another half over here. So I'm not worried about running out of those. but I am worried about running out of these. So I might place another order for those on Amazon. And I also bought the book from Amazon. So if you guys want, I will link, just in case anybody else wants to do their own swatch book, I'll link the paper, the beads, and the book. And the little stickies that I use to stick them on the page. A lot of the washi tape and stuff I didn't get from Amazon. A lot of the stuff I did, all my old pages I did, but some of the other stuff I didn't anymore, so. Um, since everything is gonna be so black and white, we're gonna do a super colorful page. I also got my label maker from Amazon, both of them.
brand is from the nail I meant to go to Walmart and get glue because sometimes these the stickies stay on decent enough but sometimes they do come up and I feel like a smaller little thing of e6000 or just some Elmer's little stick glue would be perfect and this is called the shadow collection So I have the new page done and I need some glue because some of this, this washi tape is not sticking very well. Okay, so I know all three of these at the top look exactly the same, but if you compare to the black, like these are more opaque, these are slightly more sheer, and then these are completely sheer. You just can't tell, but I promise you. It is so late, it's 4.06. I have not had my coffee like I have some water but I think I'm gonna have I think I'm about to have coffee and then I think I think I'm gonna play my game I don't know let's put this page away and then clean up and go from there time goes by so fast it's already five o'clock and i feel like yeah i ran some errands today but i really haven't had any like me time so i feel like a little irritable or like my anxiety is high right now and the cats are just always under my feet always always under my feet <sighs> so this is my old pan look how ugly and terrible it is so ugly and terrible uh, this used to be gray. Like, these used to be gray, and now they're just like brown and terrible. Now, I have this cute pink pan. Um, I think the big one is more the size we're probably going to use and then i'll put this one away for safekeeping even though this one is probably the perfect size but for storage reasons i'd rather deal with this one in the oven and this one in a cabinet because it'll fit better and then i can toss this old beat up one 
See, I'm not hungry, but I want something good to eat. Like, I just want a good snack. And I feel like if I had, like, a good snack, it would put me in a better mood. But I don't even know what I want. Like, uh, I'm trying to, like, think what I have. I feel like I'd go for, like, some boneless wings. I would love some boneless wings. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Is this even focusing? Yeah, because like I don't want anything too heavy. Like I'm not trying to get full. I just want something to chew on. Let me think about it. I'm still gonna make my chai. Like I don't know if I should be drinking caffeine if I already have like feeling a little on edge. I don't think caffeine would help. I'm trying to think like, do you want to go to Chick-fil-A? Get like a little five piece. I don't know, let me think about it. I got tired of sitting around and kind of doing nothing. So I ordered food for something to do. I got the Popeye's Sweet and Spicy Wings because they have wings now and I wanna try them. Um, I got a biscuit. I knew they wouldn't give me honey, so I have honey. I chose a side of ranch to go with the wings, but I doubt they gave that to me too because whatever. And that is Popeye's fault, not the Dasher. And they gave me a burnt biscuit. The wings look okay. They look okay. I'm just more of a boneless girl now. I don't even want to eat wings off the bone. I only want boneless. So I can eat them with a fork. Keep my hands clean. Um, let's find one that's like decently saucy. Uh, it's not really a lot of sauce. These don't even feel like they have a bone. Oh yeah. There's a bone in there. They're so sweet. They're so sweet. Not a lot of meat either. It's just a lot of coating. Like the batter. Now I'm like scared to eat one that's like covered in sauce. Let's do a little ranch. See if that does anything. Still so sweet, but the ranch helps. It's kind of disgusting. <laughs> I don't even want to sit here and eat this. Like, I don't. You can't go wrong with the red beans and rice, though. You know, I like their chicken sandwich. But now that I'm thinking about it, I usually don't just order their chicken. I used to get their legs. But if I'm going to get anything, I'm getting the chicken sandwich. Of course, this is good. Hmm. I should have just got red beans and rice, a big old Hawaiian punch, and a biscuit. I can't believe they gave me this burnt biscuit. Like, it doesn't even break apart. Some of the rice isn't all the way cooked, but it still tastes good. Let's give the uh, burnt biscuit a try. I pulled out my nail stuff so I could do my nails. <sighs> I don't even know which half of this I want to eat.
None of it. <laughs> what a waste of money. I mean, it was under $20 because they did have like a deal for half off wings. And then I have Dash Pass for now. So I think with tip, I spent like $15, which is still a decent amount of money. That's like what I typically spend on like a dinner. It's probably what I spent at Five Guys today, but. I'm like, let's go in again. This one has like a little bit of sauce on it. It's better when there's not so much sauce. Yeah, I'm over it. I'm gonna wash my hands, eat my rice, drink some water and start my nails or start taking my polish off my nails. I don't know if I'm gonna paint tonight. We'll see how far we get, but yeah. I'm on the fence about the wings. I'm gonna blame the sauce I got and for them not being fresh. I don't know. What location did he get this from? I wonder like, there's no way he went to the nice one. I've never had like bad food from the nice one, but there is one that's like kind of the same distance away. I wonder if he'd go to that one and that one I've never had good food from. Seems like something they would do. I have to check the address. <sighs> it's the next day. I was supposed to go take my car up to the dealership because they want to buy it and everything. But the whole thought of spending my Sunday at a car dealership haggling over the amount they're gonna buy the car for and of course that means i would have to get another car the same day and have to haggle with them over price and all this stuff that's like a th two three hour thing i don't feel like dealing with that on my sunday so i decided to not go i'll deal with that at some other time when i have the energy um for now i think i want to make a chai it's almost one o'clock and I think I'm just going to order a pizza and I'm just going to eat pizza for the rest of the day. And that's just going to be breakfast, lunch, dinner. It's just me going to be eating pizza. So I'm about to make a chai and debating do I want to make a piece of toast to eat with it. But yeah, I don't feel like doing much today. I did my nails and I don't really like them, but I don't hate them. I'm like they're fine. They're fine. All right, let me wash. Let me wash my cup and then, oh, well, maybe I'll make the chai in one of my new cups. I did wash them last night. Yeah, let's do that. We'll make the chai in one of my new cups. I had to put the spike mats down because Ramsey's been acting out lately. So I had to put the spike mats back down to keep him off of the counter because I don't have time for his foolishness it's been working I also need to edit like this is my chill day I don't do much on Sunday because I like to like my last day before I go back to work I like to do as little as possible yesterday when I made this drink I made it too sweet because I added too much syrup in combination with the cinnamon cinnamon toast crunch dust I need to go to Costco soon because I canceled my membership and so May, like late May is when it expires. So I do need to go back before then because I do have a $5 coupon or a $10 coupon that I've had from them for quite some time. So I need to go ahead and use that up. I'm also trying to use up my heavy whipping cream. I don't put too much in there because I don't want it to be like too thick I'm really looking forward to a pizza like a cheese stuffed crust and drinking a pop playing my game and just doing as little as possible today that is the plan so I'm probably gonna order in a little bit I think I'm gonna edit for mm. Ew, my hands are sticky. 
I might order in a second. I'm gonna start editing and then I'm gonna order my pizza and go pick it up. Looks cute in the little cup. The only thing I don't like about these cups is they're not dishwasher safe, but it's okay. They're cute enough that I'll hand wash them. One of these days, I'm gonna find a perfectly cute, like high quality pink dish set that doesn't have a bunch of bumps on it. Like I've seen a bunch of cute ones, but they all had like the bumps, like on this one, but I'm like, I don't know if I'm into the bumps. Have something to chew on while I edit. I didn't show you guys yesterday what I got from Trader Joe's. I didn't get too crazy, but I got stuff that I plan on eating for the week. Orange chicken. I love their orange chicken. I got these spring rolls. And I got the garlic naan. I really like their garlic naan. This is for a different dinner, but I got it anyway because I was there. And... I didn't get their fried rice, but I went to um, Whole Foods and I got their fried rice. I like theirs more because it doesn't have the, it's either edamame or soybeans, or not soybeans, uh, lima beans in the Trader Joe's fried rice that I did not want that the Whole Foods one does not have. And I also got a bag of broccoli from Whole Foods because I plan on making my own orange chicken at home. That way, I don't have to worry about finding a Chinese restaurant. That's my favorite, other than, you know, like Panda Express. I just love orange chicken, and it's so hard to find orange chicken that's actually good. Like the chicken chunks, like at the Chinese food restaurant, like I don't like the way their chicken tastes. It's like, Got a lot of gristle like I don't know the texture is a bit off when you get orange chicken from places and it's like a, it doesn't seem like real chicken it's very weird but I do love my uh, Panda Express orange chicken for sure <sighs> but the Trader Joe's one is pretty good and it's more convenient and closer because we don't have a Panda Express that's like so quick and convenient to me I have to drive a little further out All right, I'm going to sit here and edit, listen to this Game of Thrones book. It's getting crazy, and I'm like, <sighs> but I'm going to stick to it, get through it, so I can move on to the Targaryen books and go from there. <sighs> I'll see you guys. I'm like, I'm trying to think what the cats are eating off the floor. It's probably ice, but I'm going to make my toast because I forgot about that, and then I'll be right back when I'm getting the food. It's 1 o'clock. Done editing, just got back home, pick up my pizza. I'm gonna just slide this computer on over. And it's only 2.51, so the rest of the day is my own. And I'm gonna do, probably gonna play my game. I need to check on my Dreamlight Valley. And then I'm going to play Xbox and just relax for the rest of the day. It is raining. I need to find my iPad. Um, I think it's over there on the ottoman. And I'm going to watch YouTube videos while I eat my food. I always get cheese stuffed crust. So this is the Garlic Lovers cheese stuffed crust. So they put the garlic butter, they pour it over the crust. And then I got a side of marinara, a side of the garlic butter, and then some extra pepperoncinis. Can't go wrong with pizza ever.
they made it really saucy too, which I like. Uh, I know it's kind of dark in here. Just finished eating my pizza. It's almost 3.30. Opening up the Hello Kitty blankets because I just put my black blanket over here on the couch on this side and put the white one away because I really didn't want to have that one out anymore. And honestly, I feel like, do I have enough blankets now? Like, I feel like, do I have enough blankets? I just love cozy throw blankets. <sighs> Ooh, now this one is the perfect size. Like it's so big. <laughs> and there's still so much blanket. This one I'm putting on the couch. I'm gonna be like hanging out in when I'm just like laying around on the couch. I kind of feel like I want one more big one like this. The full slash queen size of the Hello Kitty throw blankets are the perfect ones. So it seems like the ones that they have folded and hanging up on the hangers in TJ Maxx are most likely the twin sizes or like a throw size. And then the ones they have folded up with like the side, like those are more likely gonna be the bigger blankets. This is like a perfect size for me to hang on the couch. <sighs> Why do I feel like I need one more? but like in a different design. Let's wait to see what comes out because I would love to have like one more, like a travel one. <laughs> I don't like one, I have to see what the measurements are for like a twin size. Oh, and it's so soft. Let me go get my, my other one out of my bedroom that looks like this one and compare the design. Let's just go back to the kitchen where it's brighter or the dining room. It's orange in here though. Uh, oh yeah, these are the same exact design. Is it? Why does this one seem darker? They're about the same design. It's just this one is a lot smaller. It's a lot smaller of a size. <sighs> but it is good for just walking around the house. It is nice. Good to know, cold water wash only. I have to remember that. All right, so in the mirror, if I'm wearing it like a cloak, over my shoulder, still goes to the floor. So Ramsey has liked sleeping up here on the headboard. So I put a little, it's supposed to be like a perch for the window, but I put it on my headboard because I mean, I don't need all this bed and Ramsey likes being up there. And usually he's like right here and my head is right here and he's doing too much right above my head with like no space to lay. So now he has this thing. And instead of being interested in his new bed, he's playing with trash. And Pia likes sitting on the sleeping pad or the heating pad. Come here, Ramsey. Yeah, come here. Oh. <sighs> okay, let's put him up there. Let's see how it goes. There you go, but look how special. Do you like that? He likes to sit up here and chase the lights that reflect off the walls. So I figured like, that's a nice place. Ooh, do you like it? See, this is what he likes to do. He just sits right there on the ledge. Oh, 
Wait a minute, we got a curious Pia. Look at that big old body and that little head. <laughs> How you gonna get up there, girl? <laughs> How you gonna do it? She's like, I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> gotta do, honey. You gotta climb up there. You just gonna jump? Oh. <laughs> she can't figure it out. <laughs> You give up, Pia? You give up? I feel bad. I'm gonna help her out. There you go, honey. Do you like it? See, now you gotta figure out how to get down. Not that way. You can do it. You can do it. Hey, stop it. She was tearing down my stars. I know what you're doing. She's trying to rip off, see on the back of the bed, there's some lights. She's trying to rip those off. You gonna jump down? Do you need help? <gasps> oh, all right, I've had enough. I didn't feel like being on camera, but look how good this is. It's Trader Joe's orange chicken, a Trader Joe's spring roll, and Whole Foods broccoli and fried rice. I love the Trader Joe's um, orange chicken. It's got that tangy taste like Panda Express. It's so good. I've never had their spring rolls though. This is good too. This is a chicken one. Feels like I just went to um, Panda Express. Sitting in my car, it's Tuesday after work. I'm sitting outside of Wingstop. You can kind of see it back there, but I wanted wings so bad and they are having a 70 cent boneless wing day. So I got like 10 wings for $7. I don't know what I normally pay for wings, but that sounds like a deal. And I got a drink. I accidentally placed the order for too late. Like it was like 450 something. And I'm like 545 should be a good time to pick up those wings. Why? I was already leaving work. I just, because I was stopping in Kroger's before I came here, I just thought it's gonna take me 45 minutes to grab a couple things from Kroger's. Like it didn't, it took me no time to do all that. So I'm sitting here with my couple little groceries. I still have um, about six minutes before I go in and grab my food. So I might just go in, cause you know, sometimes they make things early and it's just sitting there. So I'm gonna go in and grab them and then head on home and then I'll be back. I have you guys sitting on top of my Stanley because I don't feel like getting the tripod out. I found $20 in the Wingstop parking lot. So honestly, my food was free. I love that. Um, I'll show you what I got from Kroger's. I got these cookies because I was on Instagram and I saw them say these were new and like a lemon one. And I was like, oh, dark chocolate and sea salt, soft bake. Yes, please. I'll be taking those to work. Um, I got a green onion because I'm making cheese fries to go with my, my wing stop. Got some hummus to eat on at work and I have tortilla chips. 
I got two yogurts. Little sweet treat for at work. We got this white chocolate raspberry truffle haagen -Dazs. It was on my grocery list and I was just like, well, I'm in the store now. I'll just grab it. I got this turkey pot pie because I plan on having just rice and a pot pie probably this weekend or something. And I got milk because I'm almost out. Um, let me put this stuff away and then I will be back probably when I sit down to eat or something. I don't know. I'm still waiting for my fries to get done. They are in the oven now, melting the cheese because I'm making cheese fries. And I wanted to try these spicy Korean wings because I don't think I like the way they smell. And I can't, I, I'm pretty sure I've had these before, but I can't remember if I like them. So I only got them because they said sweet and spicy. And I was like, well, I like sweet and spicy. So let me try these. But. They have a smell that I don't know about. Hmm. I like them. And they're the perfect heat. Because that mango habanero, it kills me. And I love it so much, but it's just too spicy. Got my cheese fries here. The cheese is blending in. Oh no, my straw was bent. Hopefully that's okay. And you gotta get the Southern sweet tea when you go. Always so good. Supposed to be eating at home, but it's okay. It's nice to take a break up sometimes and treat yourself. Um, I'm about to watch Death and Other Details on Hulu because I like that show. Unfortunately, they only do one episode a week, so I'm having to wait for new episodes to come out for me to enjoy, but it's okay. There's supposed to be six episodes and they only have four out so far. Home from work, it's Thursday for me. And stop by Meyer for weekend provisions. I'll show you what I got. Cats are eating dinner. I got home late, it's eight o'clock. Usually they eat dinner at seven o'clock, so they're probably like stressed. But over there eating stinky meats. Okay. I got the cats a toy because I can't help myself. I always have to get my rats a new toy. So, new toy for the rats. I got myself two new shirts. Oh, this battery would start flashing. Let's see what we can get through. Little Sailor Moon shirt and it's pink. Oh, cute. And I saw this one randomly and it was the last one. Nightmare Before Christmas. It's cute. I like that so much. <sighs> fries, because I plan on having cheesy bacon fries at some point this weekend. Some strawberries that are on their last leg, so I need to eat these within the next couple days. I got the Chobani cookie dough creamer that I've been seeing on TikTok, because even though I moved the app so I wouldn't click on it so often, I still be on there giggling. And, I bought five of these new Chobani creation dessert things. We got caramel sundae, mocha tiramisu, uh, Greek yogurt apple pie a la mode, banana foster, and orange cream pop. Some of these are probably gonna be terrible but i'm willing to risk it and i bought all five of the new flavors and they only had one left Ugh, get a little thumbnail but yeah there was only one left of the orange one so i'm glad i got there today and got all five of the new flavors and 
that's all. I saw that movie Agent Argyle today. I love that movie so much. And there's a post credit scene and I don't wanna spoil it but I love that movie so much. I'm gonna buy it on iTunes because it's a part, I'm, I can't say it anymore. You have to go see the movie and then stay to the post credit scene. I don't know, I'll just enjoy this for myself. But it's so funny, it's really good. I was in there laughing to myself. Somebody waiting on somebody. But I love that movie, love it so much. So much fun, great time connects to another series that you will never guess what it is until the very end and um yeah let me switch out this battery put this stuff away and hop in my shower and live my life i still need to eat dinner but i'll be right back i'm gonna hide that movie got me hype i switched the battery out and i switched the battery out and i want to open up the cat's toy to see if they like it Come on, let's see. Ramsey, come here, butt. Ooh, look at him. Oh. <laughs> You're so aggressive. Can I? Can I cut it off the thing? Oh. Here, let me cut it off. It's already ripping the hair off of it. Can they see? Can I see? Can I see? There you go. You want that one? You want this one? <laughs> Let me tear it off. Hold on. Hold on. All right. There you go, butt. Here you go. paper must smell good <laughs> but the toys are right here but Ramsey These toys are going to be destroyed be probably before the end of the night because look what's happening here. He's losing his mind, ripping this thing apart. When I wake up tomorrow, I bet you one or both of these toys are going to be destroyed and it's going to be Ramsey for sure. Filming the outro. Um, I definitely didn't realize I almost had like two hours of footage for this video. So a lot of it's probably just camera on me not doing anything so hopefully the video isn't too long but still long enough where it's interesting if you made it this far leave a I don't even know like what was leave a little mouse emoji for Ramsey and his little toy that's still he's lost interest in it completely since that first night I don't know he liked it that first day and now he's over it just like everything else but Leave that little mouse emoji and I will see you guys next week. I'm about to start a new vlog. I think I'm going to try to do like a no spin vlog. Or I just don't buy anything. I eat at home. I don't know. We'll see what we do. But I am going to get with Chipotle before that. Because I haven't had it in a while. But then no spin. But I'll see you guys next week. Thank you for watching. Bye.